Welcome to Chuck Builds. This is another video in my series of updating my smart home after I've moved. I'm doing it from scratch. I'm filming everything so you can follow along and learn or copy what I'm doing for yourself. Today's episode or video is going to be a little boring. It's a lot of just housekeeping items and good practices. One thing we're going to be doing is moving a lot of our items into rooms. So I'll be moving things like my office lamp into the office and doing that with all the lights. And I'm also going to clean up this light section where I don't need to have all of the individual lights once I've made a group. If I have the bar lights, I only want the bar lights. I don't need to do them one by one. And that'll kind of help me get to these buttons a little easier. We're going to clean this up a little bit today. Um, the first thing we're going to do is going to take this office Govi lamp in office lamp. The office lamp is Zigbee, the Govi lamp is Wi-Fi, and I can't combine them in the Zigbee to MQTT groups. So I'm gonna create a helper inside of Home Assistant. So I'll go to Settings, Integrations and Services, Helpers, Create a Helper, and then we'll create a group. And this is a light group. I'm gonna call it Office Light Group. I like to designate that this is a group, so I know to go to helpers if I need to edit that. And then um, other lights, such as my Zigbee groups, I keep it as just the room. Uh, the members of this is going to be the office lamp and the office Govi. And that was a little easier because I had already put that in a room, but I'll show you how to do that in a second. Then I'm going to leave the rest of this alone, but I'll get this office light group right here to control them. And so just if you can see the lights around me, gets darker, gets brighter. Um, pretty quick, pretty easy, and it's a good way to combine different technologies into one easy button. Next up, we're going to go to settings, and then we're going to areas, labels, and zones. And I'm going to make all of the areas here. So we have an office, living room, kitchen, bedroom. Let's create a bathroom. Ooh, first floor level one. Make sure everything creates an area. Call this bar, first floor. I had to refresh the page for them to get sorted into the right area. So then we'll do second floor, level two, office, create. I'm going to create an area called guest room. This is on the second floor. I think that's enough for right now. So now that I've created my areas, I'm going to go back to settings, and then we're going to go to devices, and we're going to add these items to their specific areas. So I'm going to start with bar, and I have bar lights. Then I'll click the pencil icon in the top right corner, and then I'll give it the area bar and click update. I'll do next bar, and this is first floor ceiling, area bar update, bar motion sensor. Bar seats lighting, bar sink lighting. And this is gonna get Pretty boring as I go through all these, so maybe I'll do a super speed up. And I've added a lot of my lights and items to groups, but not all of them. There's a few that I haven't quite decided on how I'm going to name or group, such as my outdoor lights. I don't know if I want to do outdoor lights or porch light, garage light, back porch light, something like that. Um, so I'll figure those out as I go on, but I've got most of the, um, I've got most of them in here and I'm sure it'll continue to add to it, but it's a good idea to keep up with these areas as it helps when you create automations, you can start typing the area and choose from that list. If you know where your device is, it also will help you uh, later on when we do voice commands to say, turn off all of my bedroom lights, instead of looking for a group called bedroom lights, it'll turn off all the lights in your bedroom. You can use that kind of verbiage, turn off all the lights in the kitchen and it won't just look for the kitchen lights. It'll look for everything in that area, I believe. Um, something to keep up with. It's not going to make or break you, but it's a good practice to keep up with as you go on. So now that we've done that, it auto sorted most of these items into their rooms instead of one giant group. But I don't really like that. So I like to have one uh, section for my lights. And I also like to have the slider to choose the brightness once it's on, just toggling it on and on. You can click on the light bulb to get that, but I like it a little bit more visible to me. So I'm gonna go to my 
Home Assistant Community Store, and then search slider. I believe we're looking for Lovelace slider entity row. Yes, this is exactly what I'm looking for. I want this little slider next to the toggle that I can edit and I'll click download and download this version. Then we need to reload the browser so it'll actually load. So I no longer want Home Assistant to automatically populate my dashboard here. It's just too much stuff and I'm gonna keep on top of it myself. So I'm gonna come up to the edit dashboard button in the top right corner, the pencil, and then the three dots, and then take control. And then I'm gonna start with an empty dashboard and take control so that I can edit this and I can add my own tabs. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is add a section and we can call this lights and then we're going to go add entities and we're going to add our light groups but we can do light dot and get bar lights uh bathroom lights bedroom lights let's try plural lights dining room lights dining room lights this light group i think that's most of my lights right now i could add something like my porch lights but I rarely want to turn those on and off myself. I want to keep those on the automation, so I'm not going to leave it here. And most of these will also always mostly be automated, um, but it's nice to be able to have some control. So I'm going to go to Show Code Editor. I'm going to change a few things. I'm going to change this type from Heading to Entities. And instead of badges, I'm going to type entities here as well. I change the type for each of these lights to custom slider entity row. That's going to get rid of a lot of these errors that we're having here. And so our lights now have a slider. And then we can also change the name. So instead of bar underscore lights, we can do just bar lights. I'm going to copy this and change it for each of these. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get rid of indoor lights because I have an idea on how to handle that. And then we're going to take a couple more toggles. I'm just gonna paste this. I'll have all this on the description and on my website, but we're gonna add a secondary info for brightness and then we're gonna add a toggle. And that changes the current status from showing on or off to giving us a toggle and the slider is for brightness. I think by default, it was already there for brightness. And I'm gonna hit save on this. So after saving, it doesn't quite look right. So we're gonna come here and click on this pencil in the middle to make sure we're getting the correct uh, section here. Grab the pencil and we're gonna look at our errors down here. Heading, heading style, and heading toggle aren't correct. So I'm just gonna delete those. I'm gonna hit save again and then come back to the pencil. I was looking for a header here. I'm just gonna call this lights. And I wanna make sure I enabled show header toggle and that gives us this button up here and that's for all of our indoor lights or that's at least all the lights in this section. Um, this is great when you're walking out the door with the dogs and it's at night or you're going out to dinner and you don't want all of your lights on. Hit this real quick, turn off all the lights. It's quick, easy, and it's automation free. Um, you could do sections like I had before of just indoor lights. Lights. That's pretty much what I was looking for here. I think this will continue to grow. Uh, the office lights has a little bit of a different icon here because it's a group instead of a single bulb. Although these are all groups in Zigbee, Home Assistant only sees them as a single one. So if I click on living room lights, it treats them all the same. But if I click on office lights, I can do one and then the other and treat them separately. If you'd prefer to do that, you can do that using the Home Assistant Helper groups. I don't like that as much. I'd rather have my Zigbee network be a little less congested in the whole room act the same. Um, but we can also change this by coming in here and going to the icon and just typing light. And then let's do bulb and update. And we can make it look just like the others. So it's visually the same. So we'll click save here again. Well, I think this video is long enough. Holy cow, it's been 30 minutes. So I'm gonna chop this up real tight. And that's just a few things we are gonna we did today. Uh, we made a helper group. We redid our lights so it's a little easier to use in the app. Thanks for watching. If you wanna see more of this, you wanna see me finish out this build and dashboard and all that, feel free to subscribe on Chuck Builds. Catch you next time.